Hi friends, let's read the book today, The Perfect Tree, written and illustrated by Chloe Bonfield. Give me a like and follow so you don't miss the next story. Pause to read what it's about. Once a boy named Jack went on a journey to find the perfect tree. Not to climb, not to draw, and definitely not to hug. No, Jack wanted a perfect tree to chop, a perfect tree to hack, a perfect tree to stack. The trees he saw were too wide, too spooky, too silly, or too familiar. Jack reached a hill and climbed to the top. No perfect trees were there. He climbed to the other side. Nothing. The perfect tree was really hard to find. Jack wandered into a dark corner of the forest and his heart began to sink. And then he heard, tap, tap, tap. I've been watching you, said a woodpecker. Come with me and I'll show you the perfect tree. As fast as an arrow, the woodpecker flew through the trees. Tap, tap. Here we are, said the woodpecker. Just you wait and see what happens next. Twitch, 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 twitch. See, come with me and I'll show you the perfect tree. As swift as a gymnast, the squirrel flipped through the trees and landed in front of a big oak. Follow me, said the squirrel. Jack couldn't believe what he saw inside the big tree. There were enough acorns and berries to last all winter, maybe more. Outside, a soft shadow with eight long legs scurried along. Don't be afraid of little old me. Have you seen my perfect tree, said a spider. Jack took the end of the spider's web and they glided among the trees. High up in a spindly tree hung a magnificent web with jewels hanging from every strand. Drip, drip, drip. Drip, drip, drip. The rain began to pour. You'd better run for cover, said the spider. As Jack ran, he looked for the perfect shelter to keep him dry. And what did he see? Jack could finally see. It was the perfect tree. But as Jack looked at the woodpecker, squirrel, and spider, he remembered the trees he saw that day. They were all so special. Every tree in the forest is perfect, said Jack. So he put down his axe, for he needed it no more. Then Jack said goodbye to his new friends as he made his way home. The next day, Jack went on another journey to find the perfect tree. No, not a perfect tree to A perfect tree to climb, a perfect tree to draw, and most of all, a perfect tree to love. And that's the end, friends. That was cute. Give me a like and follow so you don't miss the next story. And sorry for the meowing in the background. My kitty Chappie had a lot to say. I think she wanted to go out and climb trees. Until next time, friends. Bye.